Hi, I'm Ariel and I'm an art therapist and holistic wellness coach in New York. I'm super excited to be here with you today to create this DIY floral kit from Petal and Eon. I want to tell you a little about why I'm so excited that I came across Petal and Eon. So I'm the type of person to go to the supermarket on a weekly, bi-weekly basis and always pick up fresh flowers because I love having them in my home. Home environment is super important to me as a holistic wellness coach. I am constantly preaching the importance of a healthy and fun home environment. And a lot of people don't necessarily know what that means because we think so much about wellness is what we put into our bodies, what products we're using on our skin, how often we're going to the gym or exercising, and that's just not everything. Home environment is a crucial piece of holistic health and wellness because your home is your safe space or it's meant to be your safe space. The place that you decompress at the end of a long work day, the place that you spend time with loved ones, and the place that you feel your very best. Now, when your home is filled with physical clutter, it always becomes mental clutter. So if your mind is foggy or clouded or you're feeling stressed out, one of the first things that you should actually look at is how your home environment is feeling. Is your home environment cluttered? Do you have a stack of clothes sitting on your chair? Is your kitchen sink full of dishes? All of these things add to all of the other daily stressors that come about. So thinking about home environment is super important to me. One of the things that I love in my home environment, as you can see here, is having fresh plants and flowers. Now I learned that Petal and Eon flowers have been preserved to last two years, which is an amazing alternative to me buying supermarket flowers every week. So I'm going to create this kit with you so you can see how I put it together and I'll give you some tips along the way so that when you're making your DIY kit, you can think about these things too. So we're going to get started. Um, I have the medium vase from Petal and Neon. It is the white cube. There are several options on the website. I chose the white cube because it goes with the aesthetic of my home. Um, in thinking about where you're going to place your DIY kit in your office or at home, you wanna think about what colors go with the aesthetic that you already have, have going on or the aesthetic that you would like to create in that space. So for me, I love whites, beiges, browns, neutrals, and all of those earthy colors. So the color of the roses, and these are our thrillers, um, our champagne. I chose champagne roses, which are our thrillers. Then we have our spillers, which are our hydrangeas. And then we have all of our fillers, which are all these flowers that you'll see in the middle. There are over 10 different flowers that come in the box when you order a DIY kit. You do not need to use all of these flowers, but it is a great option to have. So I also want to mention that these flowers come from seven different countries. When you receive your DIY kit from Petal and Eon, you'll notice a pink piece of tissue paper on the top of the box. This is a great placemat for your work. I am not using it today, I'm just using a table, but you're more than welcome to use it as a placemat. Inside the box are a bunch of other boxes of flowers. So our box comes with thrillers, which are our roses, our spillers, which are our hydrangeas, and our fillers, which are all these flowers that you see in the middle from over seven countries. So I'm going to show you how I put this together using the flowers. Of course, you're welcome to do it however you'd like, but I'll give you some tips along the way. So let's get started. We're going to start by taking our roses out carefully. You will notice on the bottom of the rose is something called a stem extender. Do not remove this green piece of plastic. This is going to help you insert the rose into the grass. And I am just going to organize my roses carefully in the middle of the vase. So this is one. I love the color of these roses. So these roses have all been preserved. All the flowers have been preserved. Uh, they're preserved as soon as they're freshly cut and in peak bloom in a liquid glycerin and silica solution that preserves them for up to two years, which is awesome. Okay, so I am going to leave my roses here in the middle. So you wanna think about where you're going to place your vase. If you are placing your vase against a wall, then you're gonna want the taller flowers in the back so it sits against the wall and it flows from 
uh, tallest to shortest. If you're placing your vase in the center of the room or as a centerpiece on a table, then they can be more spread throughout. Um, and that's what I'm going to do. So I'll show you how we're going to do that. Okay, so after we've put our roses in, our thrillers are in the vase and we're going to move on to our spillers and that's our hydrangeas. So you will receive one to two colors of these. The most popular thing to do with these is to just spill them around the perimeter of the vase around the roses. So that's exactly what we're gonna do now. You may notice that the stems are a little soft or too fragile to push into the grass. If that's the case, just use your fingernail or a scissor um, to clip the bottom a little bit. And again, it's, it's great if you have scissors and wanna use them, but they're absolutely not necessary for this project. So I'm just gonna turn this around as I work here. I am thinking about my where I'm putting these and what color fillers and spillers I want and I probably will use a little of the green but I'm going to use primarily the white ones just because it goes most with my home okay so we're just gonna stick these around these are really really beautiful you may think that because these are so small they're fragile but they actually feel pretty strong because of the way that they're preserved. So you won't damage them just by pushing them in a little bit. Right. These flower options are, are so beautiful. I'm thinking I should have gone for the larger vase, but Okay, so you can see it's starting to fill up, right? We have one more corner over here that I'm going to fill with some more spillers. Wow, this is looking beautiful already. Okay, so. Let me just take a look to see if it looks even. And again, you can do this however you'd like. I would like ideally for us not to be able to see the grass in the middle of the vase, so I'm trying to really fill in all the space. And we have a good amount of flowers to be able to do that, so. Okay, so this is where we're at. You can see that it looks nice and filled. I'm going to take the green ones and maybe just add in a piece or two. Somewhere along the way for just a hint of green. I wasn't going to like the green but I actually am a huge fan so I'm going to add in another piece or two what I liked about picking out my kit on the on the site is that I could choose the, the type the color of the vase and the flowers I thought that was pretty cool okay so we're just about done here with our spillers. So you can see that I went around and filled the whole perimeter with the white hydrangeas and I just threw in a touch of green around the perimeter. Okay, so next we're going to move on to our fillers. As you can see, the fillers are all of these flowers here that you received in your box. Um, and these flowers are from all over the world again. They're from Europe, they're from Asia, they're from the United States. So I wanna use as many of them as possible, but I also don't want it to look chaotic. So we wanna think about a few things when we're adding the fillers in. We don't want them to be too high, we want them to be as low as possible. Some of the fillers have a longer stem, so if you wanna clip them, go ahead and clip them to make them a little shorter if you'd like them a little lower. So let's see what we're going to start with. I'm going to start with these 
and I'm going to see how far in. Again, I'm putting my vase in the center of a room so my fillers can be sprinkled throughout. I'm not necessarily going to put them in the back. Although now that I look at it, I kind of think I want it against the wall. So I may change my mind. I'm going to actually try putting the fillers in the back to see how this looks here. The nice thing about this too is that it's not permanent. So once you put the flowers in, if you wanna move them around, it's very easy to just take them out and move them around. If you think that you want them in the middle or spread out and then you don't like it, um, you can just move them, which is awesome. So I'm gonna put these back here. All right, so while I'm filling this uh, with the fillers, thinking about maintenance of your vase. So the flowers will last for up to two years. They're, they've been preserved to last two years. Now, the temperature of the room doesn't really matter. Uh, room temperature is preferred. They do not like direct sunlight because excessive heat will dry them out faster. So they'll still last a long time, but you want to avoid excessive heat or sun exposure. Um, and you definitely want to avoid water. You do not need to water these flowers. Uh, they need no maintenance at all. The water will actually destroy them. So you want to keep them out of your bathroom uh, where humidity from the shower can potentially destroy the flowers. Okay, so I think I am going to continue putting the fillers in the back so I can put this against the wall. I like how it's looking. I'm going to continue filling it in. DIY kit will come with instructions too so feel free to follow along with this video when you're creating your DIY vase or just look at the instructions in your kit. I really like these pink flowers so I'm gonna put them in somewhere. All right. Another thing that I really liked about the concept of doing a DIY kit is how therapeutic it is. One of the things I love about having plants in my home is how therapeutic it is to take care of them and uh, have them in the, spa the space uh, visually. So I was really excited to get to make something myself with real flowers that would live in my home. Okay, so I am really loving how this looks. I will just give you a close up here so you can see that my fillers are taking up the back space a little bit. I'm gonna put some taller ones just because I would like a little bit of an exaggerated look against the wall. So we'll fill these in. I'm just going to snip this with my nail. These are a beautiful gift. I, they're great to have in your home, but I also love the idea of creating this for somebody else, for a housewarming gift or uh, really any occasion. This is a beautiful gift. Another thing that I thought of doing is ordering kits with some of my girlfriends and doing a, doing a DIY party together, so. All right, I am loving this, but still feel it needs a little more in the back. Let me see how this is going to look in here. Yeah, I think I'm going to add it in. Okay, wow. I am loving this. Let's get some lavender in here. It really is so simple to make it look so beautiful, which I love too. Okay, so 
giving you a close up. Here is my vase. I love it with the fillers in the back. Again, if you wanted it as a centerpiece, what you would do is you would put the fillers uh, more around the entire perimeter of the vase. I think we're just about done here. I'm just gonna add one more piece in. Okay, so the main tips, remember to never get your flowers wet and that they don't need maintenance. They're super happy on their own. Um, they'll last a super long time as long as you leave them where they need to be. Um, no direct sun exposure or intense heat and no water. So we are finished. This I'm going to leave it just like this. I'm going to save the rest of my flowers because at any point, like I said earlier, you can take the flowers out and redo it or remove the flowers that you are no longer a fan of or if you just want a different look or decide that, or if I decided I wanted to move it to the center of a table, I could change it to be a centerpiece rather a vase that's going to sit against the wall. So. This piece is finished. Um, the last thing that I want to mention is that you can spray your flowers or your arrangement with a perfume. This is totally optional, but the flowers will em emit the scent for up to two months. So you can use any alcohol-based perfume. You do not wanna spray the flowers directly with perfume because it will discolor the flowers. So what you're going to do is you're going to take your perfume, you can spray it, and then move the flowers into the area of the perfume and I can smell the perfume on the flowers and that scent should last some time and when you feel it needs a refresh then you can just spray again. All right everyone we have finished our DIY medium floral kit from Petal and Eon. I am obsessed with this and how it looks. What I love most is that I can save the flowers for later if I decide to change the arrangement move stuff around, make it a centerpiece instead of something that's gonna sit against the wall. Um, I love that it's so flexible. So I hope you've enjoyed this training video and I am really excited for you to create your own and add something to your space that makes your space feel intentional, like it's yours and healthy and happy. Thank you all for joining me.